Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, in my last video, as I promised, I will make a separate dedicated video on like how to bypass iCloud activation lock screen on iPhone 6s to iPhone X with Signal iOS 15 16, that is the latest iOS version for these models after the latest Apple patch fix. And if you want to see the similar method for iOS 12 devices like iPhone 5 5s iphone 6 and 6 plus watch my last video links are in description and it can fix the latest apple patch and now you can easily do the full bypass on these devices it was a long time since these older models bypass with a signal for ios 15 and 16 is patched by apple i have already made the video in the past but now you can do it so these are all the information that is prior before we can do the actual bypass steps so before that just hit the thumbs up on this video and share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel so without further delay let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right so on my telegram channel i have already posted this news for the new smd update that is the smd ram disk activator version 1.8 this tool is available for your mac system so you can download the tool from the description link or from my telegram channel after the icloud bypass this tool can offer all the i services including the signal or sim access but there is an important note as this is the initial update so some devices may not support it with a signal but if your device pass through the tool check and compatibility is done and you will see your device is supported and then you can do the full signal bypass so always check the supported compatibility from the tool before we can register so i will show you everything in this video in the further part now next download the tool from my telegram channel or check the description link after that you can simply install it on your system them. okay so here is the smd ram desk activator was on 1.8 now let me just connect my device now first i will show you how you can check the compatibility of your device so that you can check your device is supported with a signal or not so first you need to connect your device it will show you the details make sure it is flashed on the latest ios version after that you will see you need to check the sim lock status as if your device is carrier locked or sim lock that will not support it with a signal so now click on start and smd tool also offer lock ot option and lock reset option that means you can block the future updates from the device or you can also lock it the reset button so that the fake reset option will be there even if you reset from the device it will not lock again so these are some prevention if you want you can check these box at the time of bypass so that you can avoid the accidental locks in the future next you will see your device will go into the recovery mode next step click on start again and put your device into the dfu mode Now the booting is done, now wait for the final check. Now you can see tool is checking the status. Now you can see on the screen my device showing as supported that means it can work with a signal but in case if your device shows supported no signal that means your device will not support it with a signal in that case the sim will not work you have to wait for the next smd update so that for the future update more device support will be added so stay tuned for that once the device compatibility and checked and showing supported the next part is registration of the serial so that you can register your device in the tool server to complete the activation bypass so for that just send me the serial number plus supported screenshot from the smd tool on my telegram after that i will register your device and once it's registered you can instantly use the tool 
my all the official content links are in description so you can check it out so always check the compatibility before you can register it so i've just show you an example how you can check it so now i have another iphone x that is already registered in the smd tool server so i will connect it and perform the bypass on this device and show you the complete process now tool will detect the details now first time it will show like this uh, you need to check the sim lock status even if you are not registered in the tool the first step is this you need to check the sim lock status after that click on start jailbreak and it will put your device into the recovery mode now next put your device into the dfu mode follow the tool instruction now click start and press dfu button combination Now you can see it start exploiting the device. Now it's in the ending booting part. Now you can see it's all done. Your device will on to the hello screen. Now stay here. Now wait for the tool to detect again and check the final compatibility. Now you can see it's checking the status and you can see the device showing supported. You guys also have to pass this compatibility check steps before the registration. And please note that as I mentioned in the starting, some devices may not support it with a signal. They can only show you supported no signal. In that case, the only way you have to wait for the next SMD update. Now next I will also need OTA block and lock reset so that the device will not take updates. It will save for me and lock reset option that will give you ability to reset the device without getting lock again from the settings. Now click on activate finally and you will see your device will start bypassing it. Do not disconnect your device until you will see success. Now you can check out within some second it's done and you will see the success message on the tool. The bypass is completed. The device is successfully activated. Now you can close the tool and wait for the device to complete boot up directly to the home screen. Now it's here. You can see the device is successfully unlocked. Now let's open it and set up further. So everything looks good and normal so far. Let's test some iServices and SIM card. You can go to the settings and use all iServices. Everything will be working in this bypass. You can see all iServices including iCloud login, FaceTime, Siri, notification, App Store and obviously the SIM card. So let's first test the untethered thing. So let me just reboot the device. By this way, even if you force reboot or normally shut down your device, it will not lock again. It will on normally. So now you can see after the reboot device look normal and good. Now let's check out the SIM card. Let me just insert it. You will see the signals and carrier name on the top. Oops, wait, maybe I have stuck on this screen. Let me just force restart the iPhone. Uh, strange, it's uh, completely stuck. Uh, maybe it's some glitches in the app. Let's just force reboot it and see. Obviously, you don't have to do this. Uh, you just need to insert the SIM card and signals will work. In my case, I just uh, got stuck in this app. So just ignore it. Okay, so device is on and back to normal after this unusual stuck. Now let's wait for the signal. Okay, so signals on the top. SIM card is read. Let's place a call. 
okay so see calling is working let me just reinsert the sim card to show you the sim card is working good again let's just reinsert okay so now you can see the calling is still working so we are good at the signal part let's try out other things now Okay, so Actual Login is working. Let's check out the other things. Now let's check out the FaceTime. So you can see FaceTime is also working. Let me try out Siri. Hey Siri, open the Safari. Now you can see Siri is working. Let me test the mobile data. The SIM card is working so mobile data will also work. You can check out it's working. With this bypass everything will work in a single click. So it's a best thing and easy method for you guys if you have these lower devices like iPhone 6s to iPhone X, iOS 15 and 16 are supported. So let me just reboot the device again finally and check it the uh, things are working good after the reboot. Okay so it's here everything looks good again after the reboot. Let's place a call again to confirm. Alright so it's working so everything is good so far I've tested the tool you can also try it if you have a similar kind of device and if you want to see the dedicated video guide on iOS 15 devices as well like iPhone 6s, 6s plus and iPhone 7 you can please write down in the comment if you want I will make the dedicated video for you guys. And also in the starting I mentioned this tool support the lock OTA feature and lock reset feature. If at the time of bypass you have ticked that fake reset and lock OTA option, you can block the future updates and the fake reset will also work. Let me just show you. You can just tick that option and after that even if you reset the device from the setting or only reset the settings or erase all content, it will not lock again. It will directly go to the home screen again. So it's a good way to prevent the activation lock again. You can easily do that from the settings let me just show you first i will just do the reset all setting let's see so now you can see the device is turned on and it's back to the home screen so that means the fake reset option is working from the settings you can easily erase your device without lock again so it's a good feature you can also try that so that's all for today's video session i have covered each and everything in detail and i hope you enjoyed today's video session if yes just hit the like button on this video and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel for more cool updates like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out.